Hey, what's up guys, Steve here. And today we're gonna to take a look at the 50 highest selling 1980s baseball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on January 21st. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1987 Topps traded Greg Maddox rookie, card number 70T. This rookie was in a SGC 9.5 and it sold for $27.60. Up next at number 49 is this 1989 Perez Still Celebration Postcard Willie Stargell Auto. Serial numbered out of 10,000, this auto was ungraded but authenticated by NBA and it sold for $31.20. Coming in at number 48, is this 1987 Topps Tiffany Barry Larkin rookie, card number 648. This rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $31.20. Up next at number 47 is this 1985 Topps Mark McGuire rookie, card number 401. This was a PSA 8 and it also sold for $31.20. Coming in at number 46 is this 1982 OPG Carl Ustremski in action, card number 358. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $31.20. Up next at number 45 is this 1986 Topps Tiffany Nolan Ryan, card number 100. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $34.80. Cal Ripken Jr. makes his first appearance on today's list at number 44 with his 1982 Topps rookie, card number 21. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $36 even. Mark McGuire makes another appearance on today's list at number 43 with his 1987 Topps Tiffany Rookie card number 366. This rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $37.20. Up next at number 42 is this 1986 Don Russ Cal Ripken Jr. card number 210. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $37.20. Coming in at number 41 is this 1985 Perez Steel Hall of Fame postcard Lou Brock card number 190. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $37.20. Mickey Mantle makes a rare appearance on today's list at number 40 with this 1983 Topps 52 reprint, card number 311. This was an SGC 7.5 and it also sold for $37.20. Up next at number 39 is this 1989 Perez Steel Celebration Postcard Brooks Robinson Auto. Serial numbered out of 10,000, this auto was ungraded but authenticated by NBA and it sold for $38.40. Coming in at number 38 is this 1989 Perez Steel Celebration Postcard Willie McCovey Auto. This auto was also serial numbered out of 10,000 but ungraded but authenticated by NBA and it also sold for $38.40. 
Up next at number 37 is this 1989 Fleer Bill Ripken FF Air Rookie, card number 616. This card was ungraded but authenticated by NBA and it sold for $43.20. The Rocket makes his first appearance on today's list at number 36 with this 1986 Don Russ Roger Clemens card number 172. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $43.20. Coming in at number 35 is this 1984 Fleer George Brett card number 344. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $43.20. Up next at number 34 is this 1989 Don Russ Baseball's Best Sammy Sosa, card number 324. This pre-rookie was in a BGS Gold Label 10, and it sold for $48 even. The Kid makes his first of a handful of appearances on today's list at number 33 with this 1989 Pacific Griffey Candy Bar Yellow Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 1C. This was a BCCG 10 and it sold for $49.20. Up next at number 32 is this 1986 Don Russ Jose Canseco rookie, card number 39. This rated rookie was in a PSA 9, and it also sold for just short of $50. Coming in at number 31, is this 1983 Topps Ryan Sandberg rookie, card number 83. This rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $51.60. And we welcome another newcomer to the list to kick off the top 30 with this 1986 Don Russ Fred McGriff rookie, card number 28. This rated rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $55.20. Up next at number 29 is this 1989 Don Russ Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 3. This rated rookie was in a BGS 9.5 and it sold for $62.40. Coming in at number 28 is this 1985 Fleer George Brett, card number 199. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $62.40. Roger Clemens makes another appearance on today's list at number 27 with his 1987 Topps Tiffany card number 340. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $67.20. Coming in at number 26 is this 1986 Leaf Pete Rose card number 53. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $76.80. Up next at number 25 is this 1989 Don Russ Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card number 33. This rated rookie was in a BGS 9.5, and it sold for $81.60. We get another Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card at number 24, with his 1982 Fleer rookie with card number 176. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $86.40.
Coming in at number 23 is this 1989 score traded Ken Griffey Jr. rookie, card number 100T. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $88.80. Up next at number 22 is this 1987 Don Russ Greg Maddox Rookie Auto card number 36. This card was authenticated by PSA given a 10 grade for the auto and it sold for just short of $100. The big unit makes his first appearance on today's list at number 21 with this 1989 Upper Deck Randy Johnson Rookie, card number 25. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $100.80. And we get a player we don't see too often to kick off the top 20, with this 1988 Don Russ The Rookie's Edgar Martinez Rookie Auto, card number 36. This was a PSA 10 with a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for $103.20. Up next at number 19 is this 1989 Topps traded Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 41T. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $110.40. Cal Ripken Jr. makes another appearance on today's list at number 18 with his 1984 Tops card number 490. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $112.80. Coming in at number 17 is this 1989 Classic Travel Update 2 Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card number 193. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $117.60. Up next at number 16 is this 1986 Fleer Roger Clemens, card number 345. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $126. We get one of our weekly regulars at number 15 with this 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card number one. This star rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $168. Up next at number 14 is this 1989 Upper Deck Gary Sheffield Rookie Auto card number 13. This was a PSA 10 with a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for $210. We get another one of our weekly regulars at number 12, with this 1980 Topps Ricky Henderson rookie, card number 482. This rookie was in a BVG 8.5, and it sold for $222. Coming in at number 11 is this 1989 Fleer Update Randy Johnson rookie auto, card number U59. This was a PSA 10 with a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for $264. And the kid's back to kick off the top 10 with this 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie Auto, card number one. This star rookie was a PSA 8 with a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for $312.
Up next at number nine is this 1985 Topps Tiffany Roger Clemens rookie, card number 181. This rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $348. Coming in at number 8 is this 1985 Topps Nolan Ryan card number 760. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $492. Make that back to back appearances at number 7 with this 1984 Topps Nolan Ryan card number 470. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for just short of $500. Coming in at number 6 is this 1989 Perez Steel Mickey Mantle Auto. This was a PSA DNA authenticated auto and it sold for $528. Alright guys, and before we get to the top 5, I have 8 bonus cards to share with you guys today. And we'll start off with one of our weekly regulars with this 1983 Topps Tony Gwynn Rookie, card number 482. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $25.20. For another rookie we usually see every week, I found this 1989 Fleer Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 548. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $24 even. For our third bonus card, I don't believe I've seen this card pop up for auction in a while at these weekly auctions. We get this 1987 Topps Glossy Send-Ins Barry Bonds Rookie, card number 30. This Topps Glossy Rookie was in a BGS 8.5 and it sold for just over $20. For another one of our weekly regulars that missed the top 50, we get this 1984 Topps Don Mattingly Rookie, card number 8. This rookie was in a PSA 8 and it sold for $19.20. And for a few Bo Jackson bonus cards, up first is this 1987 Toys R Us, card number 13. This was an SGC 9 and it sold for $15.60. And for our sixth bonus card, we get this 1987 Fleer Bo Jackson Rookie, card number 369. This card was ungraded but authenticated by NBA, and it sold for $13.20. And for another Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card, I found his 1989 Bowman Rookie with card number 220. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $13.20. And for our 8th and final bonus card, how about a Hall of Famer that doesn't make the weekly auctions very often? I got this 1989 Don Russ Craig Biggio Rookie, card number 561. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $13.20. And kicking off the top 5 of today's list is this 1983 Topps Nolan Ryan, card number 360. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $990. Up next at number 4 is this 1986 Topps Traded Tiffany Barry Bonds Rookie, card number 11T. This rookie was in a BGS Gem Mint 9.5, and it sold for $1,230. Coming in at number 3 is this 1982 Topps Nolan Ryan card number 90. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $1,440. And make that 3 top 5 appearances at number 2 
with this 1986 Topps Nolan Ryan card number 100. This was also a PSA 10 and it sold for $1,590. And topping off today's list at number one is this 1982 Topps traded Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card number 98T. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $4,920. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.